Hey, Margaret Linternary here, and over the next week, I'm going to be building up to my big training on September 9th. I can't wait to put this out there for you. And until then, I'm going to be talking about really how my passion for transforming people out of their blocks, their blocks to money, to confidence, their blocks to success, and into their most powerful self, well, how that passion turned into a passion for training and certifying people so they can get the same results as me. So in this video, I want to give you my first big tip. Um, and it really has to do with when you are looking at becoming a coach, maybe you haven't even gotten started yet, or maybe you're just starting to dabble in learning techniques. And it's kind of a watch out, right? So this is my first tip. When you start looking at stepping into helping others, here's what you want to be aware of is that when you're looking at approaches or strategies, you can learn techniques and modalities that you can get trained on and certified in. You want to be careful because often the approach or the modality actually defines um, or has you end up being defined by the results that the approach or the modality can get. And so when it comes to um, approaches, for instance, like my favorite approach, tapping as a modality, it's often positioned for its incredible effectiveness for PTSD and anxiety and stress reduction. However, when you learn a modality with that approach, it starts to lead you in the direction of solving that specific problem. And what I've learned to do over the past 12 years of doing this work is instead of learning the modality and just now feeling like I can get those results, to take a step back with any approach or modality that you're looking at and look at the bigger picture of how you can really help people, not a narrow approach, a large approach, a comprehensive approach. How do we actually get people to change? How do we actually help people? And it's always gonna be bigger than any one modality. So you wanna put that in context, put any modality or approach that you learn in the context of the bigger picture of really how do we get people out of their own way, out of places where they're stuck and confused or in pain or self-sabotaging and out of their own way and into action, into feeling good. This can be in weight loss, in fitness, in marketing, in the wealth work that I teach. It can be in any field, it, but it really boils down to the same thing. How do I really transform somebody so they feel different on the inside and they start acting and speaking differently? Yes, there's always modality involved, but I want you to expect more, to think bigger, to know that there's so much more that you can do for people than a narrow approach or solving narrow problems. And I never want you to limit yourself. I don't want you to be defined by a modality or approach. I want you to be defined by the real impact you can make. And I'm going to be telling you about that this week and especially coming into next week, we're going to be just unleashing this amazing training on you. And I can't wait to do that. So tomorrow I'm going to give you another, um, another caution or a tip here around when you look at modalities and approaches, especially for those of you who have already taken some training in a modality, you're not going to want to miss that. See you soon.